Just wanted to uh, play this video of Christian Freeland just, you know, yet again with her squeaky, whiny little voice just being so dumb and so annoying in Parliament. And then we'll break it down like usual. Speaker, we don't need secrets and confidentiality. That's what got us into this problem in the first right. place. What we need are the facts so that Canadians can judge. Just like in the case of the Green Slush Fund, the Auditor General revealed $123 million of spending that broke the rules, $59 million of projects that never should have been awarded money at all, $76 million in money gone to the companies connected to the Liberal appointed members, including 217000 to the chair of the fund that was giving up the money. Will the government support our common sense plan to hand over all this information to the RCMP for a police investigation? Mr. Speaker, it is no surprise that today the Conservatives don't want to talk about the economy. But we know that the economy is the issue that most concerns Canadians. And that is why I am so glad to share some great Today, the Bank of Canada lowered interest rates. Oh, yeah. Interest rates remain 20 times higher than they were when that member promised that they would go down. Remember what she said? Yeah, he's right. I mean, it's, it's good that they're dropping, but, like, let's be honest there. If they want to cheer, give themselves a hand of a round of applause. Meanwhile, they were the ones making it go up in the first place. The big risk was deflation and low rates. Well, she was exactly wrong then, and she's even more wrong now. Mr. Speaker, six years ago, I said there was a carbon tax cover-up. The government wouldn't reveal the true cost of its carbon tax. Then they published information claiming everyone was better off. Now we find out that there is a secret report showing that with the economic costs considered, the vast majority of Canadians are paying more. Will the government end the gag order, stop the carbon tax cover-up, and release the report? Yeah. You know, Mr. Speaker, it is just really sad, sad. and shameful sad. that the Conservatives continue to talk down the Canadian economy right. and that they are unable to celebrate our great country. But the reality is, Mr. Speaker, this has been a great week for Canada. First, the Oilers made it to the Stanley Cup. Oh. And then today, the Bank of Canada lowered interest rates. Canada's on a roll, Mr. Speaker. Our plan is working. Okay. So let's just unpack that a little bit. She said earlier in the video that the number one issue for Canadians is the economy. That's not true. I did a video about this a few days ago showing an Angus poll, uh, an Angus poll, sorry, an Angus Reid poll that showed that cost of living and inflation is the biggest concern. 62% of people think that that's the, uh, of Canadians think that that's the biggest issue. Meanwhile, only about 20, 25% of people think that the economy is the biggest issue. Now, uh, the economy is still an issue. I mean, let's be honest. And I can actually, you know, show you some data on that. And if you, <laughs> from another, again, another poll from Angus Reid, do you think you are financially better off, worse, uh, better or worse than you were a year ago? The red is worse now, and the gray is the same as a year ago. So 20, 42% in the red and 40% in the gray. So that means 82% of Canadians are either doing about the same financially a year ago or worse. And only 16% are doing better. Sounds like a great economy to you, right? And then we can go up here, like, like I showed last week, and look. Cost of living inflation, 60%, 61, 59, 62, 61, 61, and 59. And here's the economy. It's like tied with all the uh, these other issues. So clearly... Cost of living and inflation is the highest, um, or is the the top issue in Canada. So there's another, there's the first lie. And then she goes on to talk about, you know, Canada's had a great week because some hockey team from Alberta, a province the Liberals hate, made the Stanley Cup Finals. So yeah, a few hundred thousand or a million, I don't know how many Oilers fans there are, who, who cares? But those... Very few Canadians are happy about one of their or about one of their sports teams. What do you think they'd rather have? 
their sports team win a Stanley Cup or being able to afford rent and having a stable economy. You know, being able to take a road trip without getting lectured by idiot MPs like Mark Holland. Meanwhile, Trudeau's on a private jet or driving around with his convoy where there's not a single electric car in that convoy. And they're gigantic SUVs, by the way. Those are those guzzle gas like like nobody's business. Great week for Canada because a hockey team that almost nobody cares about. Listen, I'm a Leafs fan. So <laughs> we understand how important to us it would be to, you know, win a Stanley Cup. But I'd rather have food and a place to live in than to see a hockey team win. Where everything else is going well, yeah, then you can focus on sports and have a cool moment if your team ever wins. I don't know the feeling, and I probably never will. But, yeah, it would be cool to see someday. But I won't take a championship over rent and food listening to climate and war hypocrites judge us while they are the biggest carbon emitters in the in the entire country. I mean, it's just unbelievable how just completely out of touch all the liberals are. And it, it, it really started, they, they always say, right, shit flows downhill. So it starts at Justin Trudeau, then it goes to Christian Freeland and Gibo and Holland and all these other douchebags that just constantly lie to Canadians. You know, they're feeding you shit and telling you it's chocolate ice cream. It's disgusting. Literally. I mean, it's 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 hard to understand what these morons actually think that Canadians think. And this is why they're at about 24% or so in the polls, and it could drop. So we'll have to see what happens. But, I, I mean, I just... These, <laughs> these guys are just so out of touch. It's hilarious. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. It really helps grow the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later during my...